Good morning from Arizona. Hot Arizona right now. We're in July and haven't seen any rain since March or February. Get a quail sitting up on top of the tree over there. I think you can probably see him. And yeah, we're sitting out here by the beehives today. Been a beekeeper on and off for a while. And there's Onyx, our stray cat, laying over there. Where's he at? He's laying right over, well, somewhere. But anyway, I haven't been out much. So that's why there's been, not been a lot of videos. It's just been too darn hot. And we got a lot going on. And uh, finally today, there's some clouds in the sky. I haven't seen any clouds in quite a spell. But uh been doing a lot of research, getting ready for when it cools off. And when it's hot like this, that's what I do. And I do get out a little bit with the uh, manacore and put her around, but I haven't really hunted with it yet. It's just been too darn hot. But the 8-inch coil's coming out for it now, and I'll probably be doing a little testing in the gold fields with that thing. Um, and we got a lot of stuff coming up this year. It's going to be a good year. Got a couple of new claims we're going to put her around on and uh, do some dry washing and gold hunting and just general doing our thing out here. There's Onyx. He's over here. Hey, Onyx. That's a black cat. He was a stray. I came home one day and... Uh, there was a cat by the gate and he was kind of a nasty looking light brown all his hair was coming out skinny you could see all the bones in him and I kind of looked at him he looked at me I said you're pretty messed up aren't you he says well I said well you want to be saved he goes well so I called Tammy on the phone and she brought out some milk and we fed him and well he's been here a while now he's got one ear clipped on the top because that's what they do when they spay or neuter them around here and then they put them back where they found them so it is what it is but uh this year is going to be a lot of fun we've got a lot of gold hunting coming up and uh i was going to travel a little more this summer but the gas prices are so darn high and it's hot everywhere around here right now so it's kind of restricted what i've been up to and i'm going to be using the 6000 this fall and uh the new manicore I'd like to get the manacore to the beach or somewhere like that, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to the coast this year. We're quite a ways from any kind of water. So it'll be back out here to the desert. But like I said, we got some new spots, and it should take time this time of year and get a list of places to go hunt. Because I'm going to tell you, everybody thinks everything's hunted out, and uh, that's far, far from the truth. It's kind of like you guys at Coin and Relic hunt a lot. You know, nothing's ever truly hunted out. And you just got to keep going back. But hey, you want to see the bees while I'm back here? Let's go see the bees. And these are uh, Italian cross bees. And in Arizona, we've got wild bees that are Africanized. So we requeen these hives every year or two to make sure we don't get any of the uh, undesired genes in here. But these are the bees. And they're doing pretty darn good. They're friendly. Yeah, I'm standing right by them with no protection on. And they're not bothering me a bit. They're just going about their business. And this time of year, they're in what's called a dearth. Um, that means time of nothing. And there really isn't much for them to eat right now. And or gather or bring home. And we got some sunflowers going on. And <clears throat> our eucalyptus trees are blooming. And yeah, we got some odd mesquites here and there that are blooming again. So they're doing okay, but we're not going to take any honey this season. We're just going to let them keep what they got, and we'll harvest again in the spring. And other than that, my friends, I'm just kind of checking in and letting you know why I haven't been putting up a lot of videos. I just haven't been getting out much. And uh, it happens sometimes when it gets real hot here. It's just miserable out here sometimes to get out there. And it's been 110 degrees, 115 degrees. It's just too hot to go out there. Just too hot. It's dangerous. And yeah, you can go out at night or early in the morning. I might do a little bit of that here coming up. Not sure yet. So, anyway, my friends, this is just a short little video to let you know I'm, I'm still here. And I'm still hanging in there. And uh, 
I'll get you all some good content coming up here. We might travel a little bit and show you some of Arizona too. And I don't have to always metal detect, you know, I do a lot of other stuff too. So I'll get with you, uh, I don't know. And I should add that part of the reason I'm kind of sitting at home taking it easy right now is because uh, I had some precancerous spots removed from me, quite a few this time around. A few on my face, probably seven or eight on my face and you know, a bunch of them on my arms. And the sun's no joke here. It's no joke anywhere, people. And if you don't get checked every now and then, you might not be doing yourself such a big favor. This stuff can sneak up on you and get you. And before you know it, you're too sick to recover. And it's happened to a lot of people I know. And you get these little spots on your arms that don't seem to quite heal. And it's like a dry skin patch. Um, you might want to have that looked at. You really might. So anyway, like, subscribe, ring the bell. And uh, until I get out there and uh, traveling or get out there hunting again, just nugget shooter out.